So dear parents and students, welcome back to another video in Test Prep Card channel. I believe all of you are doing great and staying safe. So what we are going to present in today's video. Today we are going to discuss about NIT Surat in this video. NIT Surat or Sardar Vallabhai National Institute of Technology, which is located in the state of Gujarat. So we are going to cover all the aspects of this college. Just a small request, please don't put your phone down. Keep watching this video till the end because this video is going to be really informative. Let's start this video. Now let me tell you the video outline that what are the major aspects that we are going to cover in the next 10 minute slots. So we'll start with discussing about the overview of NIT Surat. Then we will move on and discuss about the courses which this college offers along with fee structure too. Then we'll discuss about the course wise eligibility criteria for the NRIs and the Indian. We'll also discuss about the reservation of seats for the Indian and NRIs in this college. We'll also discuss about the entrance exam that what are the major entrance exam that you need to clear to get a call from this college. We'll also discuss about the application process, how you will apply to this college. We'll also discuss about the scholarship options and placement scenario in this college. And again, after this point of time, if you still have any doubts, any queries, any cures, feel free to ask in the comment section below. Let's start this video. So now let's start with discussing about the overview of this college. So overview of this college start with such that this college established in the year 1961. As this is a college of national repute, so this is National Institute of Technology or SVNIT. Initially, it used to be called Regional Institute of Technology. But after the year 1961, it has been given a national repute. And from there on, this is called NIT, NIT Surat. It's a public autonomous college, in short a government college, recognized by UGC, spread it across 160 acres, so it's a lavish campus. You'll really enjoy, really enjoy. The official website is www.svnit.ac.in and the popular courses or essentially the courses which this college offers ranges from UG to doctoral program, that is undergraduate, postgraduate and finally doctoral program. The student strength as per the 2019 year data is 1127 and the major entrance exam that this college accepts is JE mains and gate. So you need to clear these two exams. If you're targeting for bachelor's, then clear BTEC. If you're targeting for post-graduation, then clear at least gate. The admission criteria is of course inference based and the application mode is online. You can visit the site, you'll have more information. So this is just the major highlights about this college, which is NIT Surat. Now let's move on and discuss about the popular courses that this college offers. So this college offers basically three courses, as I just told, UG, PG and doctoral program. So in the UG, which is BTEC, the major specializations are chemical, civil, computer, electrical, electronics, and mechanical. If I talk about for the MTech, this is, this is just the follow-up of the BTEC. If I talk about for the integrated MSc, then this is a recent launched course, which was launched in the year 2007. And the popular specialization, or essentially, which is the only specialization in this course, is applied chemistry, applied physics, and applied mathematics. Physics, chemistry, mathematics with applied part. And if I talk about for the PhD, then you need to visit the site to clear that part that what are the major courses or what are the major specializations you will have in PhD. Of course, this is subjective. That's why I've not covered it in here. Now let's discuss about the fee structure. So let's talk about the BTEC fees. So the total fees will cost you somewhere around 5,63,000. This is the latest data as per the 2021. Again, not a bad deal here because the return on investment is really high. This is the breakup. As you can see right here, the tuition fee is for the first year, essentially for all the semesters, this is 62,500 rupees. Of course, there are some miscellaneous charges. So let's take it and let's call it as a round off figure of 6 lakhs rupees. So 6 lakh rupees if you pursue BTEC from this college. Okay. And of course, you visit the site for the NRIs, visit the site because you have different fee structure. Okay, they have passed on reading, you'll have fair information about that. Now let's move on and discuss about the fee structure for the masters, which is MSc, or essentially the PG. So integrated MSc, the total fees is 3,85,500 rupees. Again, let's take it 4 lakh rupees. So 4 lakh rupees for pursuing post-graduation. This will be nearly same to MTEX 2. Okay, so for the BTEC, this is 6 lakh rupees, or for the UG, this is 6 lakh rupees, and for the post-graduation, this is 4 lakh rupees. Again, not a big deal because and a bad deal because I'll tell you in the placement part that this is really fair. This is a very good amount that you're going to invest. I mean, this is just like a future building aspects. All right. So this is just about the fee structure. Now let's move on and discuss about the course wise eligibility. This is the basic eligibility criteria that this just give you a call that you can apply to this college. It says that for the BTEC, you should be having PCM in your class 12. And of course, 75% marks criteria is there as like all the NITs do. If I talk about for the MTech, then you should be having 
your graduation with technical courses or technical degrees with minimum of 60 percent marks again not a big deal if i talk about for the msc for the msc you should be having bsc right bsc with 60 70 percent marks of course reservation are there so you just need to take that part too and if i talk about for the phd then you just be having master's degree from the recognized university so this is just the basic eligibility criteria this is not confirmed that if you have this many things then you will get a call from this college because the selection process is entirely based on your entrance exam score okay let's move on and discuss about the other aspect which is the reservation so let's discuss about the indian students first as this is a government college, a government college and a national college of national repute. So for the ST category students, this is 7.5% of the total seats reserved. For the SC category students, this is 15% of the total seats reserved. For the OBC candidates, this is 27% of the total seats reserved. And for the EWS, 10% of the total seats reserved. Which means the total of 59.5% of the seats are reserved for the reserved category students. Which also means that 31.5% are reserved for the open category students as this is a government college which is under mhrd so it follows all the rules and regu regulations of government of india now before i move forward let me just announce a very important part here this is for the nri students so for the nri students we have prepared an nri book that is related to dassciwg you can download it from the link in the description below so we have a compiled set of nri books that will really help the students to prepare well for their d-day okay now let's discuss about the reservation for the nris so in this college the total number of seats available for the nris is 91 visit the site of desa ciwgc and you will have more information about the categorization how the seats are distributed right and of course the admission is based on your j mains score so i mean there is a latest changes that has been made in desa that from this year onwards your sat score is not going to be accepted in the college of national repute essentially in nits there are few colleges in which they accept. So you visit the site, you'll have more information. Also visit this site, which is www.testprepcard.com slash G block single PHP ID 1553 NIT Surat NRI, NRI admission. So this is our blog page. You visit the site, you'll have more information about NIT Surat, which starts from the normal eligibility criteria to the fee structure, to the placement scenario, the duration, everything, right? Must visit the site. Now let's discuss about the selection process, how the selections are made. So essentially for the graduation courses, which is for the BTEC and integrated MSc. Integrated MSc is for five years. This is just like BSc plus MSc. So you need to qualify GE mains. GE mains with the cutoff that this college declares. And for the PG courses, which is for essentially MTEC, you need to clear gate. Of course, in the PhD, your UGC net scores are accepted. Now let's discuss about the cutoff. So the cutoff I'm just taking for the BTEC and for the general category. So this is subjective. This will be changing for the reserved category student. This is the last year data that I'm taking of 2020. So the chemical engineering in round one, the opening rank was 15,673. The closing rank in round six for the chemical engineering was 29,659. So you just take the number, right? This is 16,000. Let's take it a round figure and let's take it 13,000. So 14,000 students has been called for this specialization which is chemical engineering of course the students changes maps this college go to other college that depends upon their decision if i talk about talk about for the chemical engineering then this is uh in the case of sorry in the case of civil engineering this is 14,774 in the round one and 31,202 for the round six now let's discuss about the application process how the applications how you can apply to this college how the selections as we discussed are made now this is a made path so let's start with discussing about the bachelors so SVNIT Surat admission process for undergraduate programs. So applicants must need to apply and appear for J mains. So J mains, if you clear the cutoff, then only you'll get a call from this college. And 75% criteria is there, of course, in your class tool. Post that applicants must submit an application form based on their J mains score and attend JOSA counseling. So the counseling process is handled by JOSA. The shortlisted candidates must participate in document verification and pay admission fee. Again, after that point of time, you will be shortlisted. You will be called to submit your documentation. And that's it. Bingo. You are into this college. So this is just a brief about the undergraduate programs application process. Now let's discuss about the application process for the post-graduation program. So in the post-graduation program, eligible candidates need to apply through their GATE score. So GATE scores matter. This college have their preside cutoffs. Visit the site, you'll have more information. And again, there are some counseling process which is done by CCMT. They will call you, they will just ask you to submit your documents. And again, if you just submit all your documents, everything, bingo, you are into this post graduation program. And if I talk about the PhD, so for the PhD, they accept UGC net score, but again, they also have their own inference. 
you need to visit the site to have those entrance part clear because these are subjected that depends from the subject to subject that's like for the mathematics physics or chemistry so visit you'll have more information because this is being handled not by the college but by the department of the college okay and that keeps on changing they have this frequent changing policies and again the shortlisted candidate must complete documentation process and pay admission fee yes if you're done with all the process the first three process you'll be called for document verification process and finally bingo you are into this phd program now let's discuss about the last aspect second last aspect which is the scholarship option so as this is a college of national repute you are always open to apply through national scholarship portal or through state government scholarship or through district government scholarship or from whichever area you come from so inspire scholarship by central government of students studying basic science so this is inspired dst that is department of science and technology new delhi so they handle this inspired dst and students who score really well in their um, class 12th students basically for the science stream they get 15000 10000 rupees yearly from the cbse and respective boards visit and you'll have more information again there are post graduation indira gandhi scholarship by the ugc for girls child pursuing the post graduation program in science there is some central sector scholarship that just initial by ministry of tribal affairs education department for the st through ge main score so essentially if you are students who have a very good score in your class 12th or you in your ge mains then of course you'll get scholarship no matter what you uh, belong to which category right again there is national talent search scholarship by ncert for ug and pg so there are ample options ample options for this scholarship there are cases in which you can even reimburse your entire fees if you belong to that category like sc and st and you are i mean top in the studies now let's discuss about the placement scenario so i have discussed in almost all my videos that placement is determined by the median pay package not by the highest not by the average so the median pay package for this college is around 6 lakh rupees for the btech and around 5.5 to 6 lakh rupees for the mtech this is the last year data by nirf and the placement and alumni network committee of this college says that there is a 100% placement scenario in this college placements for the mechanical engineering is also good and for the computer science this is 100% okay major companies like hpcl bpcl frequently visit this college and offers highest package if i talk about for the highest package of the year 2020 the last year data this is 25 to 30 lakhs per annum of course you can just relate it to the return on investment you are spending 6 lakh rupees and you are getting 30 lakhs rupees after 4 years that's more than enough right of course this is a college of national repute and for the other streams this was 10 to 15 lakhs per annum the average was 5 lakh this will not give you a clear picture this median will give you a clear picture okay so this is somewhere around 6 lakh to 6.5 lakhs okay not a bad deal now if i talk about the major recruiters in this college then this is d shoin co qualcomm samsung jp morgan microsoft airtel hsbc michael mastercards oracle linde opel and much more much more So, if you get a chance to visit this college, or if you get a chance to admission in this college, definitely take it. Don't lose this opportunity because this is going to make your life. Trust me. So, this is all about this college. I hope this is of some importance. Again, if you have any doubts, any queries, ask in the comment section below. See you in the coming videos. Thank you.